Do some intimate stories and the Ghanaian writer, preacher and gospel recording artist Akesa Brimpon has revealed the significant impact African gospel music is making globally. According to him, the Western world appreciates gospel music made in Africa now than previous years. There's so much more um, for contemporary gospel musicians in Ghana in the diaspora. Um, I, my team put me on a tour. Mm. Um, in November last year, um, did Europe, um, Amsterdam, um, Belgium, um, Netherlands, Germany, and then we went back to UK uh, to crown it off. And you could, you can, you can literally see a, a spike mm. in the appreciation of gospel music from Africa. It didn't used to be like that. It used to be the West influencing the trends of gospel yeah. music. But if you study carefully the past maybe three, four years, mm -hmm. um, it's African gospel music that has actually um, set in the pace when it comes to um, gospel music mm. around the world. You don't have to do much because they are actually buying into African rhythms okay. and um, African melodies. Mm. I think it's when all the way to when um, Israel Hutton it goes all the way to when Israel Hitting started doing You Are Alpha and Omega. Yeah. They started appreciating African um, melodic lines. Mm. So we've seen Waymaker go global. We've seen the likes of uh, Nathaniel Basse mm. songs go global. We've seen Jometo Skadosh, Emojis, um, um, All Be Lifted yeah. go global and all of that. So the, the, the West is now more like looking to Africa um, for new sounds and new waves in gospel music though i mean everywhere i went in the uk especially they were chanting mm. these chants yeah, that we yeah, are doing yeah, here yeah, true. that's that's what's in vogue in 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 the uk mm. and in europe especially yeah.